This is a follow-up video I did a while back on my unboxing of the 5TB Seagate USB 3.0 external hard drive. What I'll be doing in this video is opening up the case and removing the hard drive inside and installing it in a separate machine. I've been using this hard drive to record live video feeds from security cameras and when I'm recording 10 cameras at once and playing back there is a little bit of lag so I want to remove the uh, hard drive from the case, plug it directly into the computer and see if that uh, makes it any faster. So there's no obvious signs of screws. I've checked beneath this little indentation here and there's nothing so I'm going to lift up the feet and see if there's any there. No, there's no signs of screws there. At least not behind that one. Let's check the others. So I don't really care if I damage the drive or the case, so I'm going to use a uh, pocket knife and wedge it in between and see if I can pry it off that way. So once you get the cover off, put some pressure here and this just pulls out. It's just in there with rubber pieces right here. Those rubber pieces just pop off and then you get your screwdriver. And it just slides out. You can see where it was plugged in right here. Just slides out. Now I can install this in my other computer. So here we are at the computer. Got my connections here and I got my power source here. So I just want to drop the hard drive into place. Actually I'll just try plugging it in first so I can get that out of the way. And then there's a slot for it right there. And just line it up so that your screws are in the right place. So when I'm unable to gain access to the last screw hole from behind here. So uh, since this is a machine that never moves, I'm okay leaving it uh, as is. So I'll just double check the connectors, everything is good. I'll put the cover back on, plug it in and I'll be good to go. When I turned the computer back on, it didn't recognize the new hard drive, so I had to reformat it. However, when I did get my security camera software up and running again, it worked perfectly with no performance issues. So that concludes my video. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe.